Hi there, this is Sherry Lee Myers. Welcome to How to Connect with Angels. We believe that no matter what, every person has the unconditional love and help of angels, our messengers from God. But we have to be willing to believe and we have to be willing to ask. That's what our film, The Glitch, that we are shooting here in New Orleans is all about with the help of some amazing music and talent. If you're curious, visit us at theglitchmovie.com and take a look. But now, right now, let's talk to someone who's devoted to helping us make a divine connection. Melanie Beckler is an internationally acclaimed author and clear channel of the light. She is passionate about sharing the empowering messages and the elevated frequencies of the higher realms. Her work revolves around helping others to remember the truth of their magnificent light and the infinite personal power they carry within their open heart. Melanie Beckler is honored to share the healing, guidance, and wisdom from the angels to serve humanity and all life through the ongoing earth changes. She offers angel messages, guided meditations, angel courses, and books which are filled with the unconditional love and high vibrational energy of the divine and the angelic realms. Her website is www.ask-angels.com. Good morning, Melanie Beckler of Ask Angels and Angel Solutions. I am so thrilled to talk to you. How are you doing? Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me on the Connect With Your Angels show. Oh, I, I, you know, you and I met over three years ago. You were breezing through New Orleans on your way out to a somewhere amazing. Since then, and I want everyone to know this, I have been a um, monthly member of the Angels Solution, which Melanie Beckler has created, and it is one of the greatest opportunities to evolve, to meditate, and to appreciate all the work with the divine that Melanie has been doing. She's bringing us tools. So Melanie, <laughs> here we go. Can we jump right into the, the angel solution, how you came about to create it? Yeah, absolutely. So thank you so much for that, You're that welcome. intro. I and... meant every word. Uh, yeah, so the Angel Solution is essentially a monthly membership program where I consistently am bringing through these angel sessions, angel activations, really angel experiences. Mm -hmm. So members regularly receive 10 to 40 minute, kind of all over the board sessions where you're guided to enter inward and connect directly with the incredible angelic energy, the light of the divine and the healing power of the angels that's so available to each and every one of us. Throughout my work, it's just becoming more and more apparent that we really all do have angels. We all have this incredible angelic support, but we really do have to invite it in. And I think what I'm learning more and more with the incredible experiences people are having with the Angel Solution sessions is that there's also different levels of inviting in that help. We've all heard, oh, just ask your angels for help, ask your angels for help. And that is so true and so powerful. At any time, you can just ask angels, align me with healing angels protect me. I mean, yes, even angels line up that parking spot for me. Yes, I've definitely used that one. I think think we all have. But then there's the next level. And that's when you actually go inward. When you clear your energy, when you open your heart, when you surround yourself with love and light and get yourself into an elevated vibration. Mm -hmm. And then you link with the angels, then you ask for help. It's just at an entirely new level that you can feel through your entire body, through your energy body, and that really brings in the help and healing of the angels mm -hmm. at, at a new level. And so what the angel solution does is through these meditative experiences, it guides you up into that angelic frequency bandwidth to where you can then 
just receive the healing, receive the downloads, receive the light and the inspiration that's available to you. And more and more people are having incredible experiences, not just listening to the sessions, but then after the fact, because they're connected. And so the angels are connecting with them in, in other beautiful ways. So, so yes, that, that is the angel solution. <laughs> it, I, I just, it occurred to me that you were, it was it's like we were moving from, um, a relationship that is, you know, please save me to co-creating because yes. my experience in the, with the angel solution and your meditations and is that we allow ourselves to be filled with our own light, to acknowledge that we are light. And so the co-creation is with our partners, our partners on in the galactic sphere, but also our partners on earth. Isn't that right? We, when we are more in this, you spoke about this beautifully in your interview in terms of how, when we have, when we are with our vibe, if we're in that groove, what changes in our relationship with other people? Yeah, absolutely. So I think at at the core, what angels really want to help us with is to step into our highest empowerment as individuals. So it's not a it's not a worship situation and it's not a, even a codependent re- relationship. It's the angels are really empowering us to step into the truth of our true divine nature of our angelic light, our incredible love vibration and manifestation ability so that we can through aligning with being fulfilled vibrantly shining and doing what we love and enjoy in the world when each of us do that it truly creates this ripple across the planet that we we could call that really is ushering in the new earth it's each of us shining in our full light and power which is co-creative which is in service of the highest interest of all and i think one of the most amazing things is it's also so joyful and beautiful and rewarding. So being of service isn't about slavery. It's about empowerment and really each of us as, as divine human beings coming into the remembrance and truth of, of remembering our true divine nature. And in that recognizing that we do have the power to heal ourselves. We have the power to heal the world. And yes, we have incredible angelic support and assistance available to us. And all that intermixes to create the the new energy, the new earth, the new consciousness. It is that empowered divine co-creation, letting our heart light guide our way. And this isn't to say that you connect with your angels and connect with your higher nature and there's no challenges, but you're able to respond to the challenges in a new way. How do we invite the angels into our lives when we are faced with a huge challenge? Uh, That's a great question because I do feel that for a lot of people, it, comes to that point of big challenge. So often an awakening experience is preceded by what we call the dark night of the soul. When you really are feeling like it's over, like you've fallen into a pit of despair and there's nowhere out. So in, in that place, asking for help and, and I really, really recommend taking the time to pause the ego and the mind really. And I know that this is hard, especially if you're dealing with that sort of challenge, but say, okay, ego, I recognize your perspective on this and how terrible everything is, but just, just focus on the light ego. I just want you to look at this light over here. I'm going to try something. I'm going to look inward. And then when you're able to shift your awareness within 
where your attention goes, your energy flows. And so focusing your attention and your energy on your heart center, the center of your multidimensional being and the access point in which you can not only raise your vibration, but directly connect with the angelic realm. So focusing in on your heart center and just imagine at first, imagine your heart is filling with the most beautiful, vibrant, golden light filling your heart center, and that light begins to expand around you, clearing out the fear, clearing out the anxiety, clearing out the worry. So the light, like a sun within you, is shining and cutting through the fog, cutting through the haze and worry, and opening, just cracking the door open of your heart so that your angels can enter in and then ask, angels, help Connect with me directly to heal my body, to heal my emotions. Please illuminate the highest path. Illuminate my path out and through this period of darkness so that I can return to the light and step in to alignment with my highest mission and purpose and my vitality. And I'm giving I'm giving words here, really just channeling this. And you might think, I'm not going to remember. I don't know the words to say. But the words aren't what's really important. It's the energy. It's that tuning in to your heart center and just inviting your angels to step forward to heal your body. And that healing is then going to unfold in a number of ways and a number of layers. Mm-hmm. Just as the dis-ease really happened in layers, what probably was triggered by an emotional wound that is has been built upon and festered. So, so we heal it in layers. And it begins oftentimes with emotional clearing, with learning to quiet the mind so you can tune into the presence of the angels, clearing the emotions, and then really restoring the energy flow of the body so that along your spinal column, there is a pillar of light that connects all of your chakras as one and allows that light to shine out beyond you, filling your aura, filling your energy body, filling your entire body with light. The light flows in to the areas of blockage. And the way that you allow light into your body, mind, and spirit is through love. Mm. So that's why when connecting with the angels, we always start with opening the heart, open the heart, connect with love. So if you're in that situation of ha- facing a healing crisis, essentially, A, learning to quiet your mind, asking for your angels to help, but then really, how do you love yourself more? Uh Recognizing that taking the time to love and relax, that's how you let the light in and the light that has the infinite power to heal you and heal your surroundings. So love yourself, breathe and become aware of the light that is glowing within you. And maybe it's dull. Maybe you're not seeing it very clearly. But when you keep looking for it, keep loving yourself, keep looking within, it begins to shine more and more brightly and vibrantly, allowing that inner heart light to shine through your entire body. And the the next prompting I'm really getting right here now is that when you ask for your angel's help, it comes in many forms. And especially in the cases of where healing is required, Mm -hmm. you are going to receive nudges and inspiration as to what you can do. And in the cancer situation for many people, the emotional healing is key. The energy healing is key. But then there's also a physical detox that is going to serve you greatly. And so are you being nudged to, these are just examples, it's going to be unique to you, but are you being nudged to stop drinking alcohol or go entirely raw vegan for three months? Is there some inner prompting? Listen to that. And when you listen to that guidance, or maybe it's even just commit to a daily meditation or commit to a daily walk in nature, whatever that guidance is for you, when you listen to it and act upon it, more angelic help is able to flow into your assistance. And on the other side, 
where is your energy flowing that's draining you? So often in in this situation, the dis-ease of the physical body is a physical manifestation of some energetic unease. Mm -hmm. And so are you flowing energy? Where are you flowing energy that isn't inspiring, uplifting, fulfilling? You can ask Archangel Michael to cut those cords and call back your energy and your light and your power. And I think that that this, I'm kind of observing myself saying this and feeling like it maybe sounds a little bit complicated, but at the center, it really is returning to love, asking for the angel's help and allowing the waterfall of light, the tsunami wave of love and support of the higher realms that is available to you, allowing it into your life, into your body. I think that when you commit to your healing path and journey by following your inspiration, following your intuition, asking for help and asking yourself, what what can I do? So maybe what you can do is work with your physical team of doctors, of earth angels. And then in addition, open the doors for angelic help and intervention to enter in through your meditation. And then in addition, get your diet and your exercise and your joy Mm -hmm. in alignment. So really tackling the challenge from every angle. And through that, the miraculous can truly, truly unfold so so it it is possible co-creating miracles. Melanie, it's ask-angels, right? Yes, ask-angels.com is, is my main website and really if you so if you visit the site there's an opportunity to get a free MP3 guided angel meditation. Oh so God. I think I think that's a great place for people to begin is yes to to yes. have this experience yes. and that can kind of you know we can sit here and and talk about it all day but when mm-hmm. it comes down to it go go listen go have the experience mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and then if you if you like it there's there's more available there's a ton of so free much. meditations so and much. free resources on mm-hmm. my site and then also there is the ongoing angel solution membership if you really really want to commit to that progression in embodying more of the divine vibrant being you authentically are it's it's definitely a tribe i i i am honored to belong to and everywhere on every platform um melanie and her husband miles have created and the most beautiful bouquet plethora cornucopia landscape of gorgeous meditations and art books and just dive in dive in and 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 really and really avail yourself of the most beautiful work melanie (laughs) thank you thank you so much i'm i'm truly honored that that you have been benefited by my work and you're absolutely right so i first i first started channeling the angels in in this way in 2009 and realizing that I'm not only a channel for the angels messages, but what is the most miraculous part to me is that I can channel their presence and their healing frequency and energy in a way that other people can then link up with. And so since 2009 until now, and I, I really, this became my my full-time work in 2013, I've created, there's so many resources out there just through me continuing to ask my heart and my highest divine self and and also the angels, how may I serve? And that's been very multifaceted. And and as you said, there's, there's all kinds of articles and meditations and videos and angel card readings and there's there's truly so much support available. So I think the reason I was inspired to share that is for anyone listening, if you're feeling challenged or you're feeling lost or you're feeling alone, 
know that there's so much, so much support available to you when you then take your first step, take a step in the direction of the angels, which you're already doing. You're listening to this podcast. Yes. yes. Um, maybe go, go download a meditation and listen. And when you just keep taking steps, the angels keep taking steps towards you. So in that back to what we were talking about at the beginning, you have to ask for angelic assistance. When you do that in more ways than one, when you do that through your action, through your intention, through showing up in meditation, through listening to the guidance you receive, then that angelic support can just appear in a more miraculous way. And you, as Sherry, you put so beautifully, you can truly begin to co-create with the angels, with your higher self to bring blessings into your life, whether that's healing, whether that's abundance, a new job or vocation, or or just being more fulfilled. It's all possible. And it unfolds one step at a time. It definitely did for me. What is my very next step? And then when you take that with your heart open and staying present and aware in the moment, then the guidance can truly continue to unfold. And and now compared to where I was in 2008, when I first started working with the angels, my life is miraculous. And, and I say that because I'm not special. I'm an example that it is possible. And I truly believe that everyone can connect with the angels and that we all have these beautiful, unique gifts that the world really needs. And by connecting with angels in your heart light, those gifts come more to the surface and they not only fulfill you and bring you incredible joy, but they make a difference in the highest interest of all. And and it's truly world transforming when we all come into our power in this way. Yep. Yep. I treasure what you are offering and what you're um, envisioning. Because when we all step forward with our goodness and our godness and our truly our energy that is loving and in possibility, so many, many, many wonderful things can happen. Um, and I, and I love the meditation that you are creating. Now, I, before, before I let you go, I would really, really love for you to talk about the last experience that you created with, with the angel solution, which was uh, a group meditation. Is that correct? Yeah. So what I, was that like? What was it about? What was it like? Yeah. So I just started something new within the angel solution. And this first one I called, an earth angels heart light gathering. So <laughs> because it. because all of the angel solution members are committed to connecting with their heart light and standing in their power as divine awakened beings, I like to call them us earth angels. Yes. So these are earth angel gatherings. And what happened was really amazing. We all showed up or a large group of us showed up live on a private YouTube live stream at the same time with our hearts open and we called in the angels. I channeled a a group of incredible divine angelic beings called the council of light who I channel Mm -hmm. and the council of light led us as a group, as one to connect through our open hearts with each of our highest divine individuality, where we then received the codes of awakening direct from the central sun through our sun, from the crystalline grid, from the earth, from the divine, from our highest divine selves to embody. And then the really cool part, we then shared those light codes and blessings with each other and then with the entire grid of awakened hearts on the planet and then with the earth and then with all of humanity and with all of creation. So it was just this beautiful experience of sending and receiving blessings that we did together and Everyone loved it and had super powerful experiences. So we're going to do it again on May 19th Ooh, great. with the with the focus. Um, someone requested on the live stream, 
can we do this live stream again, but with the focus of healing? So it's going to be about um, healing ourselves and healing the planet. Yes. So, um, yes. so that's going to be very exciting. So yeah, so it's a great time to, um, to jump in and experience the angel solution. But of course, there's, there's no pressure. And as I mentioned, there are a ton of free resources on ask-angels.com as well. So wherever you are financially, angelic support is available. And that's a big reason why I have put and continue to put out so much free stuff yeah. is, is I do want to make the, this light available to everyone. So. I, and I, 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 I see you, um, I see you on Pinterest and I, it just always makes me smile, you know, <laughs> I say, Melanie, yes, because the, when you, it's this spark of light that I see when it's not, oh, it's like a three minutes. It's just think about this, an article about that. So you're giving your generosity, your, your passion with your mission is something that I, um, I honor, I bow down to, and I'm, so grateful to know you. I'm so, so grateful, Melanie, that we've had a chance to talk and that I get to introduce more people to, um, to you, to your work, your mission. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm, I'm truly honored. And really the, the most amazing thing is that it, I really do just continue to ask, how may I serve? And What's amazing about that is that I love what I do. I, I love helping people connect with the angels and, and with heart light and, and with the incredible ascension energy and healing energy that's available. It is, it has, compl I mean, working with the angels and, and connecting with, with my inner light just has completely changed my life. And so being able to help other people to, to make that transition. It really is possible. Whatever you're going through, no matter how low or yeah. down or challenged you feel, it is possible. And yes, maybe it starts from going from transitioning from depressed to just feeling crummy. But you know what? Then when you feel crummy rather than depressed, then you can get to neutrality and then and then you can get to ease and then you can get to joy and just those those inc incremental steps and sometimes it is more more drastic you jump along the timelines but other times it is incremental like that either way change healing progress it it really is possible and we are really truly each meant as divine light beings in physical form to vibrantly thrive. Mm -hmm. And this is this revolution, this ascension process that humanity is going through, that I'm going through, that you're going through. It's cutting the cords and ties to the old energy and what no longer serves so that we can truly come into each of our vibrant health and radiance and fulfillment and purpose that is world changing when we each do this. For eons, really, humanity has been in this cycle of the divine feminine being suppressed and a lower manifestation of masculine energy thriving through control and manipulation and things like these. So this is a part of what, what I call the ascension process is we're the old is literally falling away so that the the new earth the new life the the divine feminine and also the divine masculine yes. can blossom yeah. in the light and so you're absolutely right that on one hand there is the revealing of the shadow there's women stepping forward sharing how they've been abused and and held down and i think as as light workers, one thing, so, so those who are inspired to do that, yes, absolutely. But I think it's important that we, that we release the, the victimhood. So this is not to say that what has happened is okay, because yeah. it's not, but the point of all of this, the underlying divine purpose is to come into power. So express what happened, yes, but then quickly cut the cords of attachment. Um, there's there's some processes we we go through in some of the angel solution sessions about 
actually vibrationally going to those points in time where the wound occurred and you're able, this is a a form of soul retrieval essentially, Mm. where a part of your soul may have gotten pushed out at that tragic event when you go back and clear the emotion, clear the pain, clear how you felt, even forgive the perpetrator and then invite that now healed part of yourself that was so wounded back into your energy, right. back into the present, it's safe now, return home, return to wholeness. A lot of your power is stored. A lot of our power is stored in the shadow, in the trauma, in in those experiences where we were wounded when we truly heal from that and integrate our shadow aspects, returning to wholeness, we're able to shine in a new way and recognizing when what can we focus towards now? Yes. So really focusing on empowering young girls on, yes, standing in our power on, I think it's re- it really just comes down to whether it's mass- male or female, how do you come into your divine sovereignty and shine as the divine being you are? When all of us do this, these old energy manipulation games are, we're able to truly turn the page of the, on those and step in to our vibrant future of co-creation with the earth, with each other and with the higher realms of spirit. So there's, as the shadow emerges, and when we recognize things in ourselves or in our past or in the world that are terrible and tragic, they're appearing for us for a number of reasons. One is to heal. One is to spark what can I do about that? So if you're, you know, if you're noticing the atrocities of to go in a different direction of um, food production or something. Okay, well, well, how do you be the solution? How do you create a positive alternative and start small and start one step at a time? Miss Melanie Beckler, is there any last thought you had that's just springing from your heart to your lips that you would really love to say on this beautiful day in April? I think that I just want to remind everyone listening that you have so much support available in spirit. Remember to ask, let your heart open, let the truth of who you are as a divine being step step forward and step, step forth to shine through everything you do. And the question that's helped me so much that I know can really help everyone is just ask, how may I serve? And that To start, that may be making changes in your personal life to usher in healing. And then once that healing flows forth, it can evolve into your making a difference in the world. So keep your heart open, keep shining, and tune in to the beautiful light that is available and just springing forth for us to all co-create with. Melanie, Melanie Beckler of Ask Angels and the Angel Solution. Thank you. If you liked this recording and benefited from it, please, for heaven's sake, share it with your friends. If you loved it and want to hear more, go to theglitchmovie.com forward slash how to connect with angels, where you can listen and subscribe. Thank you so much.